This patient was referred for a 3 cm recurrent polyp post-EMR in the distal sigmoid. This lesion was a Paris 1S plus 2A, mostly JNET 2A with one area of JNET 2B. In light of these factors, an ESD was performed. Here we can see F1 fibrosis and tattoo in the submucosa. With magnification and water immersion, the tissue planes become much clearer, allowing for precise dissection. Electrosurgical settings used were precise sect 3.5 and endocut I-222. If no vessels are visible, I will use endocut. If there are vessels, or I am unsure, I will use precise sect. This case highlights some key learning points. Avoid tattooing near polyps. Tattooing close to polyps can cause severe fibrosis obscuring tissue planes, and making resections more difficult. Instead, use the contralateral wall and mention this in your procedure report. Use magnification. When tissue planes are difficult to see, magnification can aid in ensuring precise dissection. Following muscle planes. If submucosal planes are obscured, follow adjacent muscle planes to guide you in the right direction. Benefits of underwater ESD. These include improving visibility by eliminating glare or halation, providing some magnification, keeping the lens clean, decreasing dissipation of the submucosal injected, minimizing thermal damage to the muscle, and preventing the colon from becoming distended, which helps maintain maneuverability. The final pathology was a tubulovillus adenoma with high-grade dysplasia and clear margins.